just saves you the time. You don't need a green screen. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, I just saved you a ton of time, so you better thank me on this. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose, recording on Sunday, Mother's Day, May 10th, 2020. And in the following video, we're going to talk about making PNG files. I want to show you how to be able to create backgrounds while uh, for your for your uh, live stream on StreamYard, and it's you can do this without a green screen. Let me repeat: you can do this without a green screen. But I, I want I need to do a few things first. I need to explain how green screens work. I need to show you how to make the PNG image. And then I need to go into the uh, StreamYard dashboard and show you how the PNG file looks. Those three things. We're going to get into that right after this. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Okay, good afternoon everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania. This is the second time around. Um, <laughs> I forgot to transition. Anyway, we're in my GIMP file here. Um, and let's just, uh, let's just start out how I do everything. First of all, I go into, uh, when I go into GIMP, first thing I do every time is go into document history. Uh, then I hit this little thing here. It's, um, looks like a printer. You might not be able to see it because I think my face is over, but you, uh, you click on that, you clear, and then uh, then you clear documents. That just clears up all the files. Anyway, let's go into, um, let's uh, talk about uh, creating a PNG image for the um, live stream uh, background that you can use without having to uh, go into a green screen. Once we get out of GIMP, then we're going to go into StreamYard, and um, we will talk about that. I'll, sh I'll show you the uh, completed things. So anyway, let's go into my files here. We're going to look at one. Um, we're going to go into um, we're going to go into a, a nature file. Actually, you know what? Now let's let's go into the. Um, I think there's a frame or a studio. I think there's a studio. There's a skyscraper, uh, a white, it was called white. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go into this one. Okay, here we are. Uh, okay, we're gonna open up here. Okay, now, okay. Okay, now here's the main image, but now let me show you the, the PNG image. Uh, let's open up this one and show the PNG version. Uh, okay, my recording has started. Uh, this is just going to be like my B roll. Uh, okay. okay, see how this has the transparent background? Um, we got all this. Um, I'll show you how to do this because what, what I'm getting at here is you have this nice little layout here, and then this in this little transparent area, well, that's where. where Where's my webcam and my face and all my setups going to go? And it looks really nice. It's it's a lot better than the uh, messy stuff. And um, I'm going to sh uh, show you some B rolls uh, throughout this uh, video uh, here and there um, that I made yesterday. So, um, but yeah, I don't like the mess and the clutter. So all this little area here, you have you'll have the little uh, Carl F. Rose down here, and then this area will be in my. Um, uh, the webcam, me and my chair, and that sort of thing. But let's show you how to make a PNG file. First of all, you go into this, uh, here's the main file. I'm not going to save this because I already have the created file, but you go into the, the image here, you right click, and you can't see it because my face is over, but you scroll all the way down here and you look at add alpha channel. So you click add alpha channel. So I'm just going to do, let's just do a little cutout here, just to, little triangle and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, you do that and then you hit, okay, you hit select and then you hit edit, then you hit cut and 
Bingo, there you go. If you didn't do the alpha on there, it would, it, this would have just uh, turned uh, appear white to that background there and uh, it wouldn't be transparent. So that little square just makes that transparent. Um, so we're gonna get out of GIMP. We're gonna go into StreamYards. Um, uh, this is gonna be a quicker version anyway. Um, so let's uh, get out of this. Uh, let me, yeah. I'm just gonna say, yeah, discard changes. I don't wanna do that. Okay, let's X out of that. That's saved, okay. All right, now let's go on to uh, StreamYard here. Uh, this is going to go faster. I had a 16 minute version. I was going to be cutting out a whole bunch of stuff, but um, let's scroll down here. But and I, as you can see, I got to clean out my browser. Uh, I got a lot of extra junk in here. So uh, uh, let's go into StreamYard. There's StreamYard. Okay. And then I'm just going to show you kind of um, the layouts and what they look like. I think I still have it. Yes, I good. I still have the test here. Um, what I want to do is I want to uh, go into Enter um, Broadcast Studio for my live uh, now stream. Going to be and what I'm going to show you how, how right to do now. is see, so I hate the little square thing, and you have all this other garbage and my flying all over there. So it looks like junk. So that, uh, my um, and my microphone won't be working, but that's fine. Let's enter Broadcast Studio. Uh, we're going to see the error message here in a second. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, Okay, it's going to tell me here. Okay, well, yeah, there it is. Your browser can't access the, this device uh, or your devices. Close any other applications, blah, 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 Skype, Zoom. Um, but uh, I have OBS going. Then, then it gives you the option, uh, enter without mic cam. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I want to show you. See, then it's uh, saying... Uh, your browser can't access the devices, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and that's good. Okay, we got the image um, here that I that we were just talking about anyway. Uh, this little square, this gray square here that says devices not connected, that's, that's normally where um, my face would show up. And then you would click on that, and then I'd pop up here in this little black area, and then you would see my name and that sort of thing. But since I'm on OBS, I can't really do that. But let's go into the uh, uh, the right here and I wanna show you the banners, um, or the brand, excuse me. Um, well, I can click on the banners, but I got the remember to subscribe. Uh, I think that, well, let me see if that shows. Yes, see, okay, there I got uh, that. And then, and then we got there, we got hit the bell notification. So that's pretty good. You can do that when you're live streaming. Let's go into the brand. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I got different little things here. Um, uh, uh, let's just, uh, let's hide this one. I'm just going to show you a, f a few different things and then we're going to get out of here. Um, okay, let's hide the one that's showing. Okay, click in there, you hit hide. Okay, now let's look at this one. And there's a nice little frame there. Um, here's another nice little frame. Um, that I did, okay, and that's kind of nice. Um, here's another one. This is from one of my images. The only problem with this is there's a little space here. I'm trying to stretch that out, so I'm working on that. But ideally, what I want to do is have this little stretched out and have my f uh, f uh, face here in the webcam. So it's like me talking through the rear window of, of the car. Uh, I got a lot of transportation things, so I'm going to be working on that sort of thing. So let's hide that. Uh, let's go to the nature. There's one. Um, here's the nature one. And then my little Carl off Rose will be down here, and then this one, and then and there's my brand, um, and um, and then uh, I got a few other things. But um, really, that's see. This is this is really nice because um, you have these background instead of having all this stuff all over the place I'm gonna put a little b-roll so just watch the little b-roll um, that I have that I made yesterday because this is just uh, this will just clean things up so when I do start doing more live streams on uh, stream uh, stream yard uh, it's just gonna look better and you don't have to mess with the green screen what I want to get at the last thing I want to talk about now is um, the uh, now I have I have two overhead lights. Now I do have one softbox, 
and I do have I I have a green uh, cloth, and I have I have the the poles and everything. Skyscraper, I'm sitting and I'm me right in this now, oval image, and then let me really go over here. Then you got my YouTube here. For me to really set okay, up and then yeah, you can see I didn't I didn't cut with green quite screen. right, so you can see lighting. like my hand. Lighting Oops. is more important than anything. Oh, the, so light's got to be even on this on this uh, on the uh, green screen. Okay, now um, I've got my laptop here on a. Uh, uh, TV tray uh, table, so I could easily turn this around and sit this sit in a chair the other way and face like my my fireplace and, and have the setup and and do it that way. But since uh, you know you got it, it really takes a long time to set up green screens. Plus, not only that, uh, using green screens and if you go into the green screen settings in here in StreamYard, it even says that if you're going to use a green screen, to remember that it, that using a green screen takes up a a lot of CPU space, so if your computer can't really handle it, it's not going to be, um, uh, it's going to have a hard time. And if you don't have the lighting right, if, if it's not evenly lit, uh, it's going to look all fuzzy. You're going to have like one eye covered and one eye open. It's it's just going to look really ugly. Trust me, I've tested it. I've, I've known, I, I know what it looks like and it's, it doesn't look very good. Um, so this is an easy way and not only doing this, um, it, it's not great. It's, it's, uh, you know, uh, green screen is pr preferable. I mean, it looks really nice, but just remember that the, the uh, CPU usage, but this is a good way to have it. That way you're, you know, you have a nice, uh, nice, uh, looking thing. It's, it's not the best, but it's, it doesn't take up the, uh, computer space, uh, or the, the CPU, um, so you'll have a good streaming uh, experience and it'll look nice. So, so it's not it's not perfect, but it's easier. You can just set things up as I, I explained uh, earlier and uh, you're good to go. And you put you, you download them, you, you upload, you upload your uh, PNG images here, the little upload square, and then you whatever kind of background. You, so you can have a variety of different things and you're not eating, killing a lot of space. So anyway, um, if you like these videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Uh, plus, be sure to check all the uh, playlists. Um, I've got uh, links in the description for the playlist. And um, I'm going to be adding more affiliate links, um, uh, ways you can make money with, with um, uh, different things. And I have all my affiliate disclaimers in there. So anyway, um, just wanted to get this out. And we will talk to you next time.